High frequency trading systems are engineered for speed, not milliseconds, but microseconds and even nanoseconds. In this video, we'll dive into the actual architecture behind these lightning fast systems. You'll see how market data is ingested, how an in-memory order book works, how decisions are made using FPGAs and strategy engines, and how orders are routed to exchanges like Nasdaq, all in the blink of an eye. We'll walk through a real-world architecture diagram used in the industry, breaking down each component from ultra-low latency NICs, kernel bypass, event queues, and nanosecond clocks to pre-trade risk engines and smart order routers. Whether you are a software engineer, quant, or just someone who geeks out over high-performance systems, this video is for you. So, what exactly is a high-frequency trading? At its core, HFT is the use of algorithms and machines to trade financial instruments, like stocks or options, at extremely high speeds. We are talking thousands to millions of trades per second, all happening faster than a human can blink. The goal? To make tiny profits, sometimes just a fraction of a cent on each trade, but to do it at such high volume and speed that it adds up to massive gains. These systems look for tiny inefficiencies in the market, like price differences between exchanges, temporary imbalances in the order book, or slow price updates, and jump in before anyone else can. But to do that, speed is everything. A single millisecond delay can mean the difference between making money and losing money. And that's why HFT systems are engineered like race cars. Every component, from the network car to the code, is optimized for ultra-low latency. You might wonder, why does this exist at all? Because in financial markets, being first matters. The first system to react to market data can take advantage of it. Everyone else just follows. For example, let's say you're running a market-making strategy. You continuously place a buy order at $9.99 and a sell order at $10.01. Now, if someone accepts your sell order at $10.01, you just earned a two-cent spread. Now, imagine doing this thousands of times across hundreds of stocks every second. The first step in an HFT pipeline is receiving market data. The real-time feed of prices, volumes, and order book updates from stock exchanges like NASDAQ and NYSE. But we are not talking about your everyday API or WebSocket feed. HFT systems use multicast feeds directly delivered over ultra-low latency networks, often inside a co-location facility, physically near the exchange server to reduce travel time. This data is received through specialized hardware, an ultra-low latency NIC or network interface card and a custom TCP stack, sometimes even kernel bypass mechanism like DPDK or SolarFare onload. These allow the system to handle market updates in microseconds, skipping the overhead of regular network stacks. Then comes the market data feed handler, a critical component that passes the raw stream, decodes the protocol, and transforms it into a format the system can understand. You can think of it as the translator between the exchange's language and your internal logic. but it has to translate millions of messages per second without skipping a beat. Once the market data is ingested and decoded, the next critical step is updating the order book. That is the live snapshot of all current buy and sell orders. HFT systems maintain this entire order book in memory to avoid any disk IO or database latency. It's updated in real time with every incoming message triggering a precise update. In most systems, you'll see replicated order books like Replica A and Replica B, kept in sync using in-memory replication. This ensures fault tolerance. So if one replica crashes or lags, the system can instantly fail over to the other. Now, the order book isn't just for record keeping. It's what drives the rest of the pipeline. Every trading decision, every market making strategy starts with the current state of the book. These updates are then published into an event stream ready for other components like the trading logic, FPGA engine, or smart router to consume a near zero latency. And as soon as the order book is updated, the new market state is published into an event-driven pipeline, the backbone of real-time processing in HFT. This pipeline is built around a log-free queue, optimized for throughput and low contention. Why log-free? Because even the slightest delay caused by locking threads can impact trade timing. Each event, like a pricing change or a new bid, is stamped using nanosecond precision clock. This level of timing and accuracy allows the system to 
maintain the exact sequence of market updates, benchmark internal component latencies, and most importantly, sync perfectly with external systems like FPGA engines and exchanges. The result is a precise timestamp stream of market events that downstream systems like trading strategies, risk engines, or smart routers can consume in real time. In HFT, precision is the power. Knowing exactly when something happened is just as important as knowing what happened. Now, we enter the most hardware optimized part of the pipeline, FPGA acceleration. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array, a type of reconfigurable chip that can run custom logic at the speed of hardware without the overhead of CPU or OS. In HFT, FPGAs are used for tick to trade execution, meaning the moment a tick or market event arrives, it's evaluated by logic on the FPGA and a trading decision can be made in sub microsecond latency. Why is this important? Because again, every microsecond counts. By the time a CPU thread spins up, the FPGA has already evaluated the opportunity and fired off an order. These FPGAs are often directly connected to the event queue, receive nanosecond timestamped events, and run predefined trading strategies. Think arbitrage, market making, or quote stuffing, all wired into silicon. Some firms even go a step further. They push the entire decision making logic into the FPGA to bypass software completely. Of course, this also comes with complexity. FPGA code is written in Verilog or VHDL, and every logic path must be deterministic. But when done right, it gives you the fastest edge in the market. Now, while FPGAs handle ultra-low latency scenarios, most trading logic still runs on software-based strategy engines. A market-making engine listens to the event stream, evaluates the current state of the order book, and makes rapid decisions. For example, should we code tighter? Should we widen the spread? Or should we pull our orders? Let's say the latest bid is at $9.99, and the best ask is at $10.01. So your engine might place a buy at $9.99 and sell at $10.01 to capture the spread. But it constantly recalculates based on market movements, volatility, and inventory risk. These engines can be rule-based, statistical, or even use lightweight machine learning models. But whatever the strategy is, the focus is on speed and predictability. Once a decision is made, the order is pushed to the smart order router, which takes care of where and how to execute, possibly across multiple exchanges. The strategy engine is the brain of the system, but a brain that thinks in microseconds. Once a trading strategy decides to place an order, it's not blindly fired off to an exchange. It's first routed through a smart order router a component that decides where and how to send the order for optimal execution. Should it go to NASDAQ, NYSE, or should it be a market order or a limit order? The router evaluates multiple venues in real time based on liquidity, latency, fill probability, and even rebate structures. But before the order goes out, it passes through pre-trade risk checks. And these are absolutely critical for preventing financial disasters. The risk engine ensures you're not overspending the order isn't too big, and the strategy isn't misfiring due to a bug. These checks are automated and happen in microseconds. If anything looks off, the order is blocked before it ever hits the exchange. Once cleared, the smart router sends the order to the selected exchange, and the execution log flows back into the system for audit, analysis, and learning. This final check point ensures that speed never overrides safety. After a trade is executed, it's the order management system, OMS, that tracks and logs everything. The OMS keeps a complete record of order sent, status updates such as filled, partially filled, rejected, the execution timestamps, and the routes taken. It acts like the central nervous system of the trading platform, coordinating between exchanges, strategy engines, and reporting systems. Meanwhile, a monitoring and metric stack runs in parallel, capturing latency data, system health, and performance metrics for every component. You'll typically see a latency dashboard showing tick to trade times, metrics collectors tracking throughput, error rates, and queue depths, and alerts if any component slows down or behaves abnormally. All of this is key for post trade analysis, compliance reporting, and continuous optimization. In HFT, even a few microseconds of slowness can lead to missed opportunities or major losses. So, real time monitoring isn't optional, it's part of the competitive edge. From ingesting market data to making split-second decisions 
and executing trades in microseconds. It's a beautiful mix of hardware acceleration, event-driven software, nanosecond precision, and ruthless optimization, all built to shave off every possible delay. If you are into system design, low latency engineering, or just love peeking under the hood of high performance infrastructure, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next deep dive. And hey, let me know in the comments which part of the architecture blew your mind the most. Would you want a deeper dive on strategy logic, FPGAs, or matching engines? See you in the next one.